so we learned the essentials of Go. Now let's uh, try to interact Go with a database. And in, the, in this example, we will use uh, MySQL as a database. So let's install first MySQL. Go to dev.mysql.com slash downloads. And here we can download MySQL community server. So select here your operating system and uh, click download the latest version. So I will select this one, click download. I will not log in and sign up, just download MySQL. So my MySQL is being downloaded here. You may want need also uh, MySQL Workbench. MySQL Workbench is a tool that uh, will help us connect with uh, the database. I have, uh, so this is my uh, Goland app. You can use uh, this uh, tab on the right. Here we can connect with your local database. So if you are using Goland, use uh, this tool. If you don't have Goland, then uh, make sure to download MySQL Workbench. So the download has finished and uh, installing it is really simple. Simply uh, click next, next. And uh, this is the installer. Allow, continue, continue. Agree here, install and uh, we need our credentials and uh, I will uh, use uh, the legacy password encryption because uh, I can put a really easy password. I'll put mine root root and uh, start my SQL server once installation is complete. Yes, finish. and MySQL is installed. Now I'll, I'll move it to uh, the BIM folder. And uh, if you are using a Mac, you go to about this Mac, uh, not about this Mac, uh, system preferences, and you have MySQL here. So uh, here you can stop and uh, start MySQL. Also, uh, we can uh, add the data source here. Like I said, MySQL. And uh, uh, we need uh, to connect here. So our user was uh, root, our password was root root. Let's test the connection. So we need to put also the server time zone here if uh, So here I can put my time zone. So Europe, Berlin, and uh, now it will work. So the connection is successful. And uh, now I connected with my SQL. So uh, here we can add a schema and uh, I'll call it go basics. This uh, can be the command if you are using uh, row MySQL. And uh, here is our database. So uh, we have the schema, we connect it with the database and uh, in the next tutorial let's create tables.